Why is yawning contagious? And can I spread it like a virus to everyone? Thanks for your mildly disturbing question, Archer. Let's find out. Oh! Starting with a long breath in, a pause in ventilation, then a short breath out. A yawn is often found in the presence of an arm stretch, a widespread jaw, and a man who can't stop talking about crypto. With the advent of Web3 social platforms and protocols, crypto has 100% earned its place in the Sleepiness brain. or stress raises brain temperature. So as we yawn, warm blood is dispersed away from the skull, and inhaling air produces a cooler blood supply. Basically, a yawn cools the brain down to restore a tired person's focus, attention, and alertness for... Bitcoin? My Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, Joe Rogan oh. said this. Many creatures yawn. Birds, chimpanzees, Barnaby Joyce's, dogs. We all do it. And chances are, you're yawning right now too. This is Andrew Gallup, a world expert on yawning, and also a world expert on the sexual virility of men based on hand grip strength. I approached him on Zoom to talk about yawns, and so I don't have to shake his hand. Excuse me. I can hear something, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mute my voiceover. So why is yawning contagious? So when individuals yawn spontaneously, it's usually associated with a downregulation of arousal and vigilance. This could trigger contagion among the group and the act of yawning among individuals in the group could help preserve collective threat detection and vigilance explained Andrew Gallup with an air of confidence that comes with publishing multiple peer review. I can still hear you. You, you can still hear that? Not, not muted. <laughs> to test whether contagious yawning really helps a group stay alert against potential threats, a recent experiment involved showing people scary threatening stimuli and harmless imagery. Hmm. They timed how fast people could detect harmless frog images after watching someone yawn and after watching someone miming silent speech. The results show there was no difference in reacting to harmless things after seeing someone yawn. However, when detecting terrifyingly scary things, people's reaction times were quicker after seeing people yawn. So spreading a yawn could help protect a group. When people are losing focus and starting to feel tired, it could be a literal wake-up call to keep a lookout for frightening stuff. Ooh. So it makes sense that yawns are contagious. As for how they spread, some scientists think that it might have something to do with empathy. <laughs> Which might explain why there's a particular group somewhat immune to contagious yawns, psychopaths. Now, just to be clear, just because your coworker doesn't catch your yawn, that doesn't mean they're a psychopath. They might just not know you well enough yet. So why not increase your empathetic connection with them by assisting them around the office? Or by carpooling? Thank you for your help, Lars. Oh, no worries. Or by helping them dispose of garbage. Not a psycho! Of course not. <laughs> now let's listen to a true crime podcast on the way home. Research has shown that people catch yawns easier when they're friends. And since you, the viewer, have welcomed us onto your screens, surely we're all friends too. So, are you yawning right now? Can you resist it? Come on, your jaw really wants to stretch. Yawning's not fully understood. It doesn't spread to everybody, but when it does catch on, it could be for group cohesion and vigilance against... Bitcoin and NFTs are digital assets with one crucial difference from ordinal inscriptions. Oh, come on. Cameron, let's go for a long drive. Yeah.